What's up, YouTube? Dads Can Do It TV. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm the first bomber, and today we are going to be showing you guys the stuff that we ordered to uh, to get this home printing business started. Okay, so of course, if you guys watched my first video, you guys already know we're setting up to do a home printing business at home. And keep in mind, I'm at home, I'm a dad, I have a lovely wife, I have my kids, they're gonna be walking back and forth, playing, screaming, yelling, all the good stuff. I'm not asking them to be quiet, so you're gonna get the real stuff from right here in this channel, okay? No filters on anything with the kids. So we're gonna go on ahead and start opening these boxes, like I said, and start showing you guys what we ordered. And um, as you guys can see, a lot of this stuff was ordered from Amazon, if not everything was ordered from Amazon. And uh, we are going to, as a matter of fact, let me bring this down because it's pretty heavy so that way we can look in it. This is a vinyl cutter. And this is the one that you're going to be using to cut the designs. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you guys what it is, what it comes with. In this video, we're just gonna be showing you guys the stuff that we ordered to get started. Of course, right here you have your box of cables, you have this little uh, pouch thing, I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out, we'll get to it when we uh, when we start putting it together. It goes, uh, what are these called, uh, SD cards or something like that? Or the memory stick? You got some blades. A little tool bag with the with the cutting blades for the vinyl. Uh, of course, it requires some assembly, so you have your hardware right here. You got your uh, cables, USB cable, computer cables, power cord, instructions booklet. Uh, oh, yeah, instructions booklet right there, the operation manual, and uh, it looks like it's a DVD. Yep, a DVD. So it comes with the movie. So I'll be checking that out because um, we will be showing you guys how to use it. Not just gonna unbox and that's it, but we will be showing you guys how to use it. This one I'm not gonna take out because it looks really big and you guys already know, when you take something out, you can't get it back in the same way. So this is gonna stay in here. But this is a vinyl cutter. Okay, so I'll just go on ahead and uh, open up these other boxes. Let's move this one out of the way. Now, a lot of these are a surprise. So let's go with this little one right here. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is gonna be the Emulsion Remover. So you're gonna need some of this stuff. You're gonna need quite a bit, especially if you're gonna be doing the screen printing. Because I am doing screen printing, I'm doing heat press, and we are doing uh, embroidery. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one open. Let's see what this one is. This is a heavy one too. Uh oh, this one has popcorn. And this one, oh my God, what is this? What did I order? What is this? Let's cut that off because it's just in the way. Let me pull this out. Oh, I'm scared. It's under the, just a whole bunch of brackets and stuff. So I'm thinking this is gonna be part of the screen printing machine. So, okay. We'll get back to this one some other time because right now I want to see what's in here. Hi, Miha. Yeah, so this is part of the screen printer. These these pads right here, this is where the boards go. So this is where you put your clothes on, the shirts. So when we come to putting it together, you guys are gonna get it. You know, you guys are gonna see it. I know, huh? It's cool, huh? Yeah, it's super cool. Like I said, I'm at home and my kids are here. So I'm taking it that these are 
uh, set right there. It's up in this one. And it sounds like a lot more brackets in here. So that bottom one, those are the screen printers, I believe. And this right here, whoa, I think I just opened this upside down. Yeah, that's not going back in the way it's supposed to. Um, that's part of the screen printer. Yep, it's not going in there. There, it was never opened. Okay, so now this one, I want you guys to see what I'm actually doing for you guys. Because I got two of these. This one is the Cree, uh, the Cree Cut Explorer Air 2. This is a vital cutter. We're gonna see which one works best. Of course, I'm looking into also making some car decals and stuff, so I might need something a little bit bigger than that other one. Let's go ahead and take this one out. This one, I also got it at Amazon. I got it for 200. I know Walmart has them for like 230 or something like that. But anyway, it's not in the description below. You guys will see the link and stuff and the explanation of everything that we're getting. Now this one, it's an embroidery, an embroidery or embroidery machine. And I got the Disney one. Uh, of course, because it comes with the permissions already to be able to stitch Disney characters. At least I hope it does, because it's got a, a, a memory of 45 in it. So this is what it is. It comes with the base, the actual embroider right there. And uh, keep in mind this one, uh, you cannot use it like a regular sewing machine. Okay, you cannot use it like a regular sewing machine. So if you wanna look for one that you can use as a regular sewing machine, go with something different because this one is not, it's not capable of that. This is only for, for what we're gonna be using it for. Okay, so that's that one. Now let's go over here. This right here. Okay, these are the paints, some of the paint for the clothes. So that's what those are. Got different colors, of course, comes in the pack. So of course, don't forget to order that. This is for, uh, those are for the screen printing. And let's see what's in here now. Okay, you know, I'm showing you guys everything that we ordered. So that way you guys know more or less what you need. Now, we're going all out. Instead of going only with the heat press or only with the embroider or only with the screen printing, we decided to hit the three fields of this to kind of expand the service. Uh, I know some people might prefer one or the other, and I just want to be able to be off. Uh, I want to be able to offer what people are asking for. So this is like a little kit that I ordered. The little, the little pry tools, you know, to separate the the vinyl from its from its sticky sheet. So it's that. <laughs> I don't know what that is to be honest with you, but I'll check it out right now. And then this is the transfer paper or transfer tape. So let's see what this is right here. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, go ahead and hit me in the, oh, this is a, the little box of threads that I bought for the embroider. So that's that. Okay, they're really tiny. You might want to look somewhere else to be honest. And then this one. So this one right here, this is the photo illusion kit. This is what you're gonna be putting on your screens uh, for the screen printing. Uh, this is what's gonna set. Then you put your drawing over it and you let it and you, and you let the light hit it. And then this is let me see. Okay, we're gonna get to that one right now. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this one up here. So we can get to that one. 
Now we are going to open this one just as they're coming. This one is hmm. what is this? I don't remember this one. Oh, this is the yeah, this is the, the little tool kit that I bought to be able to squeegee. That's my squeegee. This is the one to put the, the, the what's it called, emulsion or something like that on the screen. And then it comes with some, it came with a little screen right here. So yeah, okay, so this is just a little kit that I bought to make sure that I have everything I need. So let's see if I can get this back in here the way it was. I doubt it. And we did it. Okay, so now. In this box. We have some more different color vinyls. It comes with the little spatula thingy. Order some extra squeegees, some bigger ones as you can see because the screens are different sizes. Uh, it comes with some tape, a uh, little spatula thingy, some popsicle sticks. I don't know why because I'm not going to make popsicles, but we'll see what those are for. Uh, and then this, what is this? I think this is like that other box. Yeah, this is that plastic stuff. So we're going to get to that, like I said. And then right here, oh, we have some more paints some speedball paint. So these are the colors that come in this one. You got green, white, like a pink or something, or red, blue, black, and yellow. Okay, so I got two sets of paint because I want to try the quality of different paints. So I bought some extras. So like I said, you know, a lot of this stuff, you know, that I'm buying are the same of two different types of brands to be able to give you guys what gives the better quality. And over here, we have, oh, okay, these are the screens. So these are the screens right here. See that? It already comes with a screen on it. Oh, this is nice. Aluminum framing, so I got the ones with the aluminum framing. They sell the ones with the wood framing also, but uh, for some reason I just thought that the aluminum framing would be better, longer lasting than the wood frames, so that's why I went with those. We also have This one is bagged up. This one is, oh, okay. So this is what these plastics are for, these right here. These rolls of plastic right here. That is for this machine. And this machine is, um, oh, we'll have to pull it out when we're actually ready. But uh, it's a 3D printer. So that's what this is. You know, you have your, uh, this is a, you get your little spatula in here, your cables, like all your stuff right here. Like a little tiny motherboard right there. So we're gonna figure this out together. Like I said, when we're ready to start building them, that'll be in the next video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dedicate one video to each item that we have. So this way we can show you how it's built, how it's put together. We're gonna to show you how to use them. Of course, like I said in my first video, we don't know how to use them, so we're gonna learn. So if we make mistakes, you know what not to do. And over here, last but not least, is I have no idea. Oh yeah, this is the heat press. 
This is the heat press machine. So this is the one that's for the vinyl. And on this one, I want you guys to check this out. Again, I got, of course, the one that comes with more pieces. And the reason I got the one that comes with more pieces is because I want to be able to do, these are for, for plates. And if you have a bowl that has a bottom as wide as this, you can do bowls. So that's what those are for. And it can also do, these are, it can also do cups. So you can do your heat press on cups on bowls, on plates, coffee mugs. You see how it comes like with a little angle right there, like a cup shape? So that's what that angle is for. We have, now well, to get it back in here is the tricky part. Yeah, it always is. Once it comes out, it never wants to go back in. Then uh, over here, these are for the mugs, I believe. Yeah, so these two are for mugs. Small, bug, uh, small mugs and uh, large mugs. I know it has also the one to do, uh, oh, right here. This is for the caps. You know what I mean? You have a, a hat, you wanna heat press something on it. That's the one that would be used for that. So this one, you put your cap on here and then the heat press goes down on it, of course. And here goes another one. For, oh, for, this is the one that goes on here like this and then he presses onto your cap and of course this is what connects to the machine transfers the heat and melts the vinyl onto your hat so that's that and um, so yeah so the, so this is the stuff that we bought like I said just wanted to uh, just wanted to take some time and show you guys everything that we bought everything that we're putting into this and uh, so like I said this is just to get started once we get going, once we test out the materials and see what works best for us, then we're gonna go on ahead and order the best materials that we can find. Of course, you know, when, when doing something like this, of course you wanna put out the best work that you can. So you could always have return customers. If you start putting out that low quality vinyl and low quality work, you just might not have uh, repeat customers. So that's our goal, is to have repeat customers and and yeah, so this is what it is. So if you guys are interested in following us, you know, please continue to follow us. And uh, the deeper we get into this, you guys will see the progress. You guys will see everything from beginning to end. Well, that's it for right now. I want to thank you guys for tuning in again. Uh, any changes in the description, go on ahead and read them. You'll see any changes down there. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Uh, like my videos, comment, share, whatever it is. Just do it. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Bomber, I'm out. Peace.